is Janice Lumidi and I'm reporting live from Glasgow, Scotland for Vox Africa, one of the most fantastic, celebrated and prestigious events in Scotland, the BAFTA Awards 2012. Thank you, thank you. What does the Scottish BAFTA Awards mean to you? Well, it's a, it's a recognition of really, really quite a prominent industry that's been going on for some time here. And uh, it's, it, it's just, it just shows what we do, and what we do is pretty, pretty good, really. And we have done it for a long time. So uh, I kind of think uh, we do just deserve our own BAFTAs. And, uh, it's, a rec it's just a recognition of the, of the people, and also particularly the people behind the scenes, you know, not just the, not just the performers in front, but really the kind of, the real workers, the hard workers, and there's many of them, and, uh, and they're pretty formidable, actually. Mm -hmm. And also, quickly before you go, I wanted to ask, um, this year we've seen a lot of ethnic actors and creatives coming through, right. such as Octavia Spencer and yeah. Adam Deacon. Yeah. Do you think in the future that that's going to increase? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, we are a multicultural society, and our, you know, our, our art should reflect that. And of course, it's absolutely right that's been happening. And again, it's time it happened. You know, it should happen more. Excellent. Thanks very much, Brian. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's really important, I think, to celebrate the wealth and breadth of ta talent that comes out of Scotland, um, whether it be in film, TV, gaming, and also recognise those people behind the camera who go in and make in, you know, fantastic documentaries uh, or fantastic um, sitcoms, and just recognising the breadth of talent that we have uh, in Scotland and, you know, and highlighting it, really. I love your dress. Is it Laura Ashley? It is, yes. Yeah. Well, we've got the same dress. Oh, but mine is blue. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah, we haven't got much time. Um, can I just ask you, what does the Scottish BAFTA Awards mean to you? Um, well, it's a, obviously a prestigious awards, but it's in Scotland, and I'm from Scotland, and I'm Scottish, so it's, it's a very proud, proud moment, especially being asked to present tonight. So. It just means a celebration of Scottish talent. We're, as a country, we're pretty bad at celebrating our own. Sometimes it takes for us to go away to come back to be uh, validated. So it's nice to actually be validated on your own turf. Having said that, I've not been nominated this year, so I feel particularly unvalidated. Aww. I think there has to be. Um, one of the things about drama and comedy, I, mean, I work at the comedy and uh, comedy is drama, uh, it's about telling original stories. And you know, the ethnic communities in Scotland are, are, have more original stories to tell. I Me, mean, for example, there's a brilliant play on just now called Glasgow Girls, which is about asylum seekers in Glasgow. Now, I'd like to think that could get made into film and that could tell new stories because, you know, purely from a cynical point of view, but after new stories, where better to go than the ethnic communities? And who better to tell the stories than, than you know, the, the ethnic actors and writers? So it has to happen just purely as a, because of the art form. And what do you have coming up in the future? I am currently uh, I'm writing a script for Sky Living. It's just a uh, romantic uh, comedy, half hour, um, which is uh, getting filmed next week and will go out in February. Um, I, I had a wee part in the film Filth, which is a version of the Urban Welsh book. Um, what else is happening? Um, various other things that might happen, but I shouldn't tell you about because they probably won't. Uh, and uh, that's about it, I think. I'm sure there's more. Excellent. Before. Thank you so much for your time. No it's much appreciated and have a fantastic evening. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Can I ask you a wee question? Hello. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Hello, uh, you? My name is Janice. <laughs> this? this is my dress. You'll see it later. Did you? I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask you, what does the Scottish BAFTA Awards mean to you? Well, it's a lot. I think particularly, um, I mean, the BAFTAs have grown and grown in sort of skies and, and I think in, in just in, the, in their influence over the last few years. And I think it's very important that Scotland has part of that. And, and there's a big, big TV industry in Scotland now. But I'm, I'm in a shed in Dumbarton now. In Sh uh, River City, they should call Shiver City. It's very, very cold out there. But you know, it's a big part. Increasingly, over the last uh, few years, it's been, it's been, um, like getting to see more and more Scottish television, Welsh television, um, and I just think it recognises that as well because it's not just about London. That's the thing. Sorry. I'm going to
It means a big surprise to me being nominated for a Scottish BAFTA because I'm in a, in a programme called Extreme Fishing with Robson Green. And I have to say, the first review went, Robson Green presents with a confidence that is wholly unwarranted. But I've got better since then, so this is great. And my hero's going to be here tonight, Billy Connolly. Mm -hmm. So I'm over the moon. Do you like my suit? I love your suit. Yeah, it's I absolutely tried. amazing. You know, I looked in the mirror, I thought it worked, you know. I've got shortbread in here and everything. <laughs> Ah, well, it's, it's, um, what's really lovely is that film is about collaboration, you know, right away from script to production and, and the actors. And so it's, it's a great kind of celebration of people having worked on a project. You never know how it's going to connect with an audience. So I'm always very grateful when it does. Uh, so it means meeting up with friends and, and really enjoying the journey. Uh, so it's been, a, it's been a lovely adventure with Angel and it uh, seems to have connected with people. So I can never take that for granted. surprised when you win it's it's what you hope for but uh, yeah, it's still it's a wonderful surprise I mean it has been recognized already hasn't it so it is something that is just it's, seems to be it's not our up first towards. BAFTA this year if that's what you're saying yeah no it's uh, it's it's been an amazing amazing year for us all um, you know I had mentioned earlier being at the London version of the BAFTAs there was quite a lot of new um, actors and stuff coming through like Adam Deacon and stuff like that do you think that we're going to see more kind of like ethnic diversity in the UK film industry? Well, I certainly hope so, and, and particularly in, in uh, I mean, they're, they're trying it with, with Adel Ray uh, is, is trying it with, with, with uh, I can't remember the Citizen name. Can. With Citizen Can. Um, it, it, I swear to God, if that gets a bit of air, if you give that a bit of a bit of a run, I think it's going to be really, really funny. I think we could do it with more black shows. We don't have, we don't have enough black shows, um, but believe me, the Irish aren't fucking complaining. Yeah, we're doing really well. We've got Daryl Brin, you know, uh, doing one show. We've got um, Graham Norton doing another show. We've got Mrs. Brown's boys. Believe me, we're sneaking in here and we're saying nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, do, I do think that that, that that we could do. But I also think there's plenty of room for 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 um, standard British comedy, mm -hmm. just like we used to see ordinary British comedy. I very much feel that we're very lucky that we happen to reach the forgotten audience, the audience that was left behind by by Del Boy and was left behind by, by George and Mildred, mm -hmm. you know, that we seem to take up the mantle of that and, and that forgotten audience who just like laugh yeah. without having to think about it. Yeah. We managed to capture that audience. <laughs>